Hello year one and welcome back to home learning. Today for topic we've got a fun activity for you. You've been learning all about Goldilocks and the Three Bears haven't you? And I have been busy making Goldilocks with her crazy hair and the Three Bears. We'd like you to have a go at making these and when you finish making them you can retell the story to somebody in your family. You could even video it and send it to us so that we can see your stories. Okay, this is a fun activity. We hope you'll enjoy doing it. So keep watching to see how. So if you want to make Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you will need four cardboard rolls, mine are from toilet rolls, some paint or some pens or some paper, whatever you've got at home that you can use to color them, some glue, some paper, you'll need that to make the faces, maybe some sticky tape, some scissors, a pencil, and I've used this for the hair. I couldn't find anything else that I thought would be good. So I went through my Christmas wrapping paper and I found that and I thought it would help me. I've also got a little piece of old paper to put on the table so I don't make the table dirty. Okay, keep watching to see how I made mine. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my cardboard tubes. I've got some brown paint. Like I said, you can use pencils or pens or if you've got some brown paper or you can even just leave them how they are and draw some clothes onto them it's entirely up to you so i'm going to keep going till i've painted all of these so now i've painted those i'm going to put them to one side to dry and i'm going to think about goldilocks i'm going to make some clothes for her i'm just going to draw with my pencil a line like this can you see what I'm doing I've got my toilet roll on the paper and I'm rolling it along and drawing three little lines then I'm going to join those lines together and I know that that is the piece of paper that I need to decorate I'm going to use some pens and I'm just going to give her a little check dress just like this very simply of course you don't need to copy me, you can use your imagination and you can make her whatever kind of clothes you would like. But I'm just doing something very easy and quick. You can take a long time, you can take a little time, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to do this. And once I've done that, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut out this piece of paper. I'm going to cut so I can't see that horrible pencil line. And then I'm going to get my toilet roll. I'm going to put some glue on both ends of the paper. Short ends. I hope you can see that. Like that. I'm going to put the toilet roll on. And I'm going to roll it up. And hopefully by the end it will look like she's got some clothes okay just like that next I'm going to make the faces and I'm going to use this cup I'm going to make three big ones for the three bears I'm going to hold height and draw around it so I get a lovely circle you don't need to do this you can draw your own circle I'm just not very good at drawing circles and I'm going to do the other ends to make a smaller face for Goldilocks when you've finished those you can colour them with pens you can paint them and then cut them out and then you'll be ready to start assembling your three bears and goldilocks now i've just drawn the faces on can you see how i've changed the expressions on their faces just by the way that i've done the eyebrows and the lips see can you make different expressions on yours and for goldilocks i've used a smaller pen to make finer details like the eyebrows and the eyelashes for her now we need to do something very important with the three bears because we can't have three bears all the same size, can we? One is the daddy, one is the mummy, and one is the baby. The baby can't be the same size as his daddy, so we're going to cut them and make them a bit smaller. You might need a grown-up to help you with this. Depends how strong you are with your scissors. I'm going to make a mummy, and then I'm going to make a baby bear. Oh, that's tricky. Okay, once we've done that, we can just stick our faces on. 
So let me, I'm going to choose a cross one to be daddy. Put some glue on and just stick him on, just like that. Can you see when I cut out his head, that I didn't follow the circle exactly. I went a little bump and a little bump to make ears. See if you can try and do that too. Okay, so just continue until you've stuck them all down. Now I've just made them some feet. I used the bits I chopped off from baby bear and mummy bear and I cut them out and I've given daddy bear quite big feet, mummy bear quite medium sized feet and baby bear some small feet. And for Goldilocks, I didn't have any cards, so I just coloured in a piece of paper with my pens and I cut them into feet shape too. So I'm just going to bend these a little bit, put some glue on there and then stick them under like that to make the feet. OK, so as you can see, I've given Goldilocks some very crazy hair. I used my curling ribbon and I just cut some bits and stuck them behind her head. And this is what her hair looks like. She's not perfect, but she's got some gold hair and that makes her Goldilocks. You can use some paper and color it yellow, or you can use ribbons or string or wool, whatever you've got at home. Okay, you could even draw the hair, just draw it straight onto your puppet. Okay, and I think we are ready. So there we go, we've got our Goldilocks and our three bears and we're ready to retell the story. Don't worry if you haven't got all the things to make it, try your best and use your imaginations. I know you're great at that, you've blown us away with what you've done so far and I'm sure you're going to do the same today. I can't wait to see your stories, so have a go. Bye bye, see you soon.